Welcome to Alton Park and this fourth weekend of the Dunlop MSA British Touring Car Championship. We're in Cheshire, at one of the most famous circuits in British motorsport. It's generally thought to favour the rear-wheel drive cars, which is great news if you're BMW and you've just been celebrating 100 race wins in the British Championship. The lights are red and it is a blast off. Andrew Jordan makes a very good start, as you'd expect. One of the AMD tuning.com out is involved, and Adam Morgan is involved as well. He was 20th on the grid and he's up against the barriers. It was Ant Water Neil's Audi that was involved, so drama straight away for Adam Morgan. That's Tom Ingram who's off the road down at his lot. Now Aidan Moffat looking down the inside for third place. Is he going to take it away from Turkington? That was a good sweet manoeuvre. Turkington on the outside line is in danger of losing a place to Sutton because he's got track position on the inside. They're level into his locks and Sutton's going to go through into fourth, is he? Yes, he is. Jackson's got the inside down to his lock. Collard is going to try to follow him through. Sutton tries to go right around the outside. Fantastic job done. Tom Ingram, he goes up the escape road. So now, do we have Ingram heading for the pit lane, I fear? The door is open and here comes Collard as Jackson is run wide. So now Rob Collard finally gets his opportunity to come up and make a move and he will do so on the inside line down towards his locks. Matt Neal comes up to challenge, but Andrew Jordan wins over the line. Jordan wins at Alton Park. Matt Neal only 0.284 of a second back at flag fall. Ash Sutton, after a great drive, is set for third. Andrew Jordan on pole as the lights go out, he blasts away. Sutton makes a good start, so does Collard. All the rear-wheel drive cars from the front, they go diving down towards Old Hall. The Subaru gets the run up the inside of the BMW. Jordan tries to move across and defend, which he does, but Sutton will keep on coming, two wheels on the grass. He's been there before in the first race, he's still got the inside line, and he's got the lead down the inside into his locks. Job done. Collard through on the inside, and look at Matt Neal trying to be the great opportunist and buying into this as well. Shedden comes up to attack Jackson. But Rob Collard is through, he's gone second. Jordan trying to defend, he's going to block Matt Neal, that was close. Here is Shannon on the outside, three wide into Old Hall. Neal goes through on the inside, Shannon is up the kerb. Jordan's wide over the kerb on the outside, and Gordon Shedden keeps on coming. He's got the inside line for Denton, has he done it? He's on the outside for Cascades. He's trying to get across the front, and he's done it. Oh. Ingram's now pulled off two zero finishes, point scores out of this first two meetings. Then Collins got to defend and then getting it together. Proctor and Moffat and Proctor will spin across the line. He recovers and gets across the line amazingly without making contact with anybody else. Wow, what a finish. The lights go red. Who makes the best start as the lights go out? Jordan is away well as you'd anticipate. So too Collard, so too Sutton as they make the run down to our whole corner. Yeah, a good start from Andy Jordan as we expect. And pulling off the track, Jackson, he's probably got fluid on the tyres. And he's just trying to stay out of the way. He's going to retire. Here comes Shannon. He makes a contact. He breaks the suspension on the back of Cook's board. He's gone through. But a broken rear right corner on Josh Cook's car. And when Josh Cook goes to turn left at Cascades, that car's going to turn round. He won't realise it. He's slowing up a bit now. There it goes. Off he goes into the gravel. Day over for Josh Cook. Here comes Durkin to round the outside. That is for position number eight. And Turkington goes ahead of his teammate of last year, BMW, ahead of Subaru. Rob Austin is the next target, BMW versus Toyota over the timing line. Turkington is in the box seat for the inside line for Owen Hall. He should be able to go by, and he is sixth under braking for the right-hander. It's Aidan Moffat that is what's happened. He's in the barriers significantly and on the road. That is going to be a safety car. The BMW side-by-side, -side. Turkington on the inside will go through, yes! Matt Neal is right back there as well as Shannon dives on the inside, breathes in, through he goes, wow! 
that was a great move. The Honda's always been brilliant on the brakes. Manuel's trying to get around the outside. I don't think that will work. And that's not going to stop him from trying. He's ahead. He's done it. There's contact. Matt gets run wide. Andrew Jordan's back up the inside. Oh, no, you don't, says Matt. And he's still got his nose in front. It's a Honda. One, two. The two leaders come through as one. And Gordon Shannon will take a second win of the year. Matt Neal second across the line. Andrew Jordan third. Gordon Shedden leads our championship into Croft in three weeks' time. Join us there. Bye-bye.